Gotta get rid of this awesome day. Uh, but yeah, look all good. Ooh, Reese's. Mountain Reese's. Another Reese's. Okay, that one looks a little better. She was handcuffed you, so I can hardly blame her. But it looks like she's playing a little something here. Oh, sure, she had to, oh, he handcuffed me. It's not my fault. She's playing a little hard to get. Rocco, I've done it a hundred times. Mm-hmm. Where's this going, Woody? Sitting down on the thing going is what I want to know. Yeah, you're my girlfriend. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Rocco, I think you need to look out. For me or you? Yeah, for you. Or her? Rocco. Or red right guy. Rocco. Who am I looking for? Listen carefully. What on earth is she, a tag team wrestler, doing hanging out with you during your main event? Shouldn't she be worried about her own thing? She's with me. She's my girlfriend. Oh, oh I it, see right. I get where you I, I get where you're going. If you're, you're gonna trash my Rocco. girlfriend, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just saying. I'm leaving. Gotta look out for you, Rocco. Gotta look out for you. And now presenting the WAW champion, the Fiddle Boy, Troy Gallo! I really do hope he's feeling better. That eye has gotten better because one week from now, he is going to be facing his former team partner, his former friend, but that's pulled around his waist. Mind you, his former team partner, who's off suspension. Oh no. This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Troy Garbo being a baby because he got hit in the face with fire. Goes to the board of directors and gets Smokey James suspended for last week. Smokey James in with a flaming fist. Wow. There is no way in any rules that is even legal, let alone moral. I've hit plenty of people with a flaming fist. No, I didn't get suspended. Farts, yeah, it's all that stuff. All that stuff you eat. Yeah, those stuffed peppers were delicious. All right, they were. Who gave him a live microphone? That's my line. Hey, this guy doesn't get enough credit. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Red Guy. He'll get a golf clap. You don't play golf. Come on. That's awesome. This guy here works every single match night after night in the heat. And he's pretty good at it. Eh. Hey, this, a little is better. this is why I come out here. I can see. Oh, see? I see you. Not only I see you, I see me. Huh? I see me. I'm going to team up with those guys later on tonight. One more thing I want to say is I want to talk about how hot this summer has been with a champion like Troy Grody Grappa. Woo! <laughs> Week after week, night after night, come 
comes out here, messes up my matches, lets me on fire, messes up my face. I have to wrestle in an eye patch, but it gave me a great idea for a great tag team, the pumpkin patch. Cheese! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Michael James, last week he doesn't even show up for his match. I'm calling you out, Michael James, I'm calling you a coward. I'm calling you a sissy. If you really wanted a piece of me, if you wanted to try me, Mikey, why don't you just come out here and try me? Woo. That's uh, that's not Michael James's music. In fact, that is Madam President Moody Star. A little easier on the eyes. I got no problem seeing the president. Trust me, but uh, what is this about? All right, all right, all right. All right thank you. Oh, he's a real gentleman, this Garbo guy. All right, I ain't trying to stop your flow. Uh, hey, so long as you're not challenging me, because I don't wrestle Brock, Before I let him come out here, you gotta, you gotta tell me, what the hell is this four-quarter massacre match? You want me to tell you what a four-quarter massacre match is? Look, Garba, I'm not so much concerned about the health of you. Look, some don't already have room for APOC. Sage, Moon, Serena, there's some crazy shit going on there. I need you all to check to www.wrestling.com to find out about that. I got some footage that I ain't trying to air for you people. Even though you're great. Okay, but look, tell me, what, what's gonna happen? You gonna be breaking my stuff all over? You gonna be throwing things in the audience, setting me up for lawsuits? Honestly, Dabo, I like it, you're okay. Listen, Bodie Stark, I, it's Michael's choice. I don't know what a four corner massacre match is. Tell you the truth, I really don't think I'm gonna like it. A four corner massacre match. I could barely even pronounce a four corner massacre match. Say that four times faster. Look what I hear massacre. I mean, I'm thinking of some awesome, awesome violence. But as much as I think I think you're great, I like you. Yeah, you're you're cool, you're cool. Audience, how do you feel about Troy Garble? Yeah! Everybody put that one in the back, that kid. shape or form, I'll always be here, but uh, will I be here as the champ defending the title? That's uh, that's for, for me to know and me to find out, I guess. Nothing's going to make you leave, Carmo. Hey, you know what, Moody Star, if you really want to know, you're the boss. I called out Michael James, not you. Why don't you bring him out here? I'll take you not to talk back, but fine, I will. Michael James, please come out here. Or is he still suspended? Is he really going to come walking through that curtain? Uh, I called him out. He's coming. Is he even here this week? Of course he's here. It's Michael James, the number one contender. Yeah, when he's not suspended for hitting people with fire. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter if he got suspended or not. The fact is you're going to disrespect someone who's your number one contender. Troy Garvin needs to learn not to underestimate opponents. What is it? Oh. You want to know what a four corner massacre match is? Yes. He's a little slow. Four corner massacre match is going to have a pole in each one of these corners. Moody might love that, huh? The pole. On that pole is going to be a mystery bag with a specific weapon in it. One that I'm going to use to dissect you next week. Whoa. You're going to let that you gonna let that slide? Do I get to know what's in these bags? It looks like no. I'll tell you what, Michael James. You, bring, you can bring your little action figure. You can put it up in a little bag on a little pole. You can do whatever you want. But a lot of people have tried to take this championship from me. And they're no different than you. All losers. Mm. I know you're not going to win. 
because you've been spending the summer beating up your ex-girlfriend, and I've been spending the summer beating the man. Woo! Oh! Troy Garbo! Well, I think we're getting a uh, preview here! We're getting the hell out of here! Good to see you leave, Moody. Yeah, you love to watch, hate to see her go, but you love to watch her leave, but we're watching these two getting the ready for Apocalypse. And kicking Troy Garbo, kicking Red Garbo. Wait a minute, dump handle. Why would you call the move? Of course he's going to nope, reverse it. Oh, misses so. the big kick. This is what we're talking about, knowing each other so well. Flip through out of the ring goes Mr. James. One week. One week away, Smokey, or excuse me, Mr. James, will get his hands on Troy Garbo. I'll see you in the main event, Michael. Well, you know what? As Miss Mooney Star has mentioned, this means everything. Yeah, he's right. It, it means everything. But as Mooney Star mentioned, anyone watching WAWWrestling.com will see an exclusive video of what transpired last week after Sage Zarello kidnapped Miss Valenci. I know you haven't seen it yet. I have. I've been trying to get on the horn with the police to get someone on his ass. It is actually a little violent. If you're an exclusive WAWWrestling.com viewer, check it out. The following contest is a three-person sudden death match. Entry first from Lynn, Massachusetts. It's a sexual time of stars, Becca Ross. Now I'm going to say, Buck and I got a little bit of history. I'm not saying I'm his biggest fan, but I'm going to give the man credit. His streak lately, he's gone up some of the biggest, the best, the baddest. And won. And won. Well, you know what, Buck Duras is a resident Jedi of WAW. He's always using the force. Hey, was that a tumbleweed? Don't, don't, don't quit your day job, Chaz. I'm trying, trust me, I really am. Do or do not, there is no try. Back to last, man! Go, second, for the sound that goes to New York. It's Arkham! Arkham. Me. Jonathan Arkham. Did you pronounce it that way because the half of your face doesn't work, or is that just, you know, is that a con? That's how his name is spelled. Well, is someone else I've been watching since his debut in WAW. I don't want to know what you were doing while you were watching him. Still, again, credit where credit is due. He's done well for himself since getting here. Not too happy about him having an Irish flag on his uh, towel. And what is that? That's, a, that's an orange lantern course somewhere? Nice. Boy lives in a comic book world. And our third competitor hails from Montezuma, Georgia. He's a go-win most. Bring it back! from the comic book convention. And now we have freaking Flax! I'm not sure how these things work. And Arkham looks like he wants to get this match rolling here. All right, we got two guys in the mask and one guy who probably should be. The lucky fan just caught the pom pom inadvertently. Flash, well, you're not getting patted down as much as you would enjoy it. I'm well, sorry. he would enjoy it, yes, but this is a triple threat match. Very much one fall to a finish, submission or pin in the ring. No disqualification. Anything goes. Well, knowing if Flax is in the ring, anything probably will. And here we go. Group hug. I'm well, sorry. Triple tie up. Now, this is me 
Arkham getting out of the way inside headlock on Buck. Oh, oh. Set to the stud basket. The inexperience of Arkham, Jonathan Arkham. Oh, that's his oh. mistake. Getting a knee to the face there. That's a bony knee. Buck weighs about 15 pounds. That's uh, with his clothes. He's actually more like 13, I think. I'm not going to argue that. Fox oh. however, aware in the way, kick. manages to keep Arkham away and working on Flax. Now, I would say this is the smart move on Buck's part. The, the veteran in this ring and the guy who is the oh, most tricky. Wait a minute. Goddamn back body drop right there. Keep him locked down. Keep him out of commission. And then just once he's down, take down Arkham. I mean, he's been, that's how he's been winning lately, hasn't he? Well, that is, but he's also been saying, wait a minute. Up. Sunset trying, catches freaking Flex. Oh, well, Buck DeRoss just stepped on the face of Arkham. That's okay, he's, he's got a up. mask. Oh, oh, back chop, kick to the stomach, back chop. And Arkham goes sent out of the ring. Arca oh, you mean Arkham gets sent out of the ring, okay. Sorry, it's kind of tough to keep up with you. But right back in. And he's back in the ring. Buck to Ross oh. gets a low drop kick. Another low drop kick to freaking Flex. And wait a minute. Oh, oh. short bulldog. Fans getting behind Flex. Arkham being smart though. Oh. One, two. One, two. Nope. Double failed on our cans. Pie. Like I was saying, this is someone I've had an eye on since his debut here. And like I said, I don't want to think about what you were doing while you had your eyes on him. Calling the match, making sure this new rookie, this kid, keeps in check. Yeah, he seems to be a little unbalanced, though. Oh, and yeah, you'd be perfect to help him get that way. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Speaking of unbalanced, we know that. Oh, works. double knees. Oh. His obsession with the uh, pure title, obsession with Johnny Psycho. And oh, kick to the shin. Freaking flat. Flex catches him. Tarantula, baby! A tarantula. Thank you for once again doing our job. Well, you're not doing it at the moment. And Arkham, like you said, going after Johnny Cycle, maybe aping his moves, but doesn't have any of it in his experience. And he wouldn't have, Johnny Cycle wouldn't all. have walked into that. No, he wouldn't have. Speaking of walking into something, oh! Buck Ross draped across the chest of freaking Flax and baseball slide to Buck DeRoss by Arkham. Of course, that's just like getting a drinking straw dropped on you, but hey. It still hurts the momentum. Wait a minute. Buck DeRoss into the brutality wall. The slap to the face. Now again, no damage. Flax Up on the shoulder. Oh, no. He did this to Flax last week. Jabbering ram. Javelin. Snake oh. eyes to Buck DeRoss. Both men Two down. Two freaking Flax on to Buck DeRoss. Sounds like a name of a porno. <laughs> Peter Labrie eating pom-pom. That's something I thought I'd never call. So that's something I never wanted you to call. The Flax back in the ring. Arkham stalking him. Time going down. One, two. Nope. Very close. Fans behind the go with the most, though. And Arkham. Arkham stretching Flax out but like an accordion. Remember those accordions? Uh, I think so. Oh, wait a minute. Going for a... Oh, wait a minute. Cattle mutilation locked in here. Cattle? No. That's cattle... No, that's not cattle mutilation. That's, that's an inverted cloverleaf. And what it is is Arkham getting sent nearly out of the ring and into the wall. Flax getting to his feet. Buck now capitalizing. Off the... But unfortunately, turning his back. Getting kicked again. Freaking Flax got a hold of Arkham. Wait a minute. Maybe... Oh, drops Ooh. down at... A knee breaker right into a shin breaker. Setting him up for a course. As weird as it is, Flax being smart, working on body parts, keeping Arkham no, slowed down. And now the fr the figure Flax there locked you go. in. And wait a minute, it's going over. Now freaking Flax is in it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but Karakian scarf locked in. Oh, and he's locked in, pulling his horns. Kevorkian scarf on one side. Pulling freaking Flax's neck back. Arkham has no choice but to let go of the reverse figure four. Excuse me, Flax has no you choice but to let go. Yeah, keep up, Jazz. You've been in my booze oh, again. Oh, wait a minute. I have. They were quite delicious. You know what this is right here? Roll through with the clothesline. Number two. I know what this is. It's painful. Well, that's usually your answer, but no. He sets him up perfect. Goes straight for the big and buck. And buck shot. Big buck deluxe into the buck shot. One, One two. two. No. And, all right, Buck now working on Arkham, going for the hat trick. Can he do it again, big though? Big Buck Deluxe again to Arkham. Oh, wow. Ooh. Jonathan Arkham getting hit hard that time. 
Sets him up. One more time. This could be it. Touch oh, the buckshot. Catches him into maybe a backslide. One, two, two three. Oh, oh, kick out very right there. Close. Back chop to oh, like Tom, excuse me, Manhattan. Another Manhattan. One. Flax now showing that experience. Like I've said before and will say probably again, Flax, he can take a lot of punishment, but he uses that time to wear you out, to get in your head until so you make that mistake. And Arkham, oh no. I mean, this has been our fault. Oh, wait oh, a minute, no. up on the shoulders. Oh God. That's not smart. Oh no, up to the second rope. Wait a minute, up to the oh, top. No. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Doomsday device. Catching freaking Flax. The goat just got skinned. And, wait a minute. What's uh, that's a chair, and it's triple threat rules. And hold on. Oh, Buck Ross getting hit with the chair. But it's legal. It is. Red guy can't do any one, two, and oh, uh, Cam almost cost himself the match right there. And again, using the brutality wall. And Arkham is in the ring with that chair. Oh no. And he wants to send the goat home packing. This right here, of course, is a preview. Oh, wait a minute. No way, Flax fighting back. And. Oh! Low blow! A little goat skin, feeling a little tender now. And Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, wait, oh! The killing joke locked down on freaking Flax. Right here, this is gonna get plenty of momentum. Beating a Hall of Famer, but you get a one, two, three! Now that's momentum going into his match next week for the Pure Championship. The killing joke. Set I don't think Flax is laughing after that one. That's impressive. That's what I'm talking about. Making an impact. For the half of the men that you're going to see in the six-pack challenge next week at Apocalypse for the Shore Championship. Somebody call Animal Control and scoop up Flax. I think we should put him down. The Forks wasn't with Buck Ross tonight. Too bad for him. No. Actually, I could kind of see him in the Jedi robes. Hmm. And poor Flax. Oh, dear. 